Regret and despondence has turned to hope and action for a survivor of the mass shooting at Columbine. Sally Garrigan is now a mom and lives in Alexandria. And as Peggy Fox tells us, she's now speaking out against gun violence for the very first time. Pandemonium, there was a bat loud bang, pandemonium ensued, and come to find out that it was two students um, coming in with guns and shooting anyone in their path. Sally Garrigan was in the choir room at Columbine High School on April 20th, 1999. She heard the sound of ricocheting bullets. And that's when we dropped down and just started crawling through. And I was lucky because I ran. As the years went by, watching mass shooting after mass shooting, Garrigan says she was filled with a sense of helplessness, that nothing could be done to stop them. I, I almost just want to say I'm sorry. It, something should have been fixed then, and it wasn't. But after the Parkland shooting, she was moved to join Moms Demand Action. My name is Sally Garrigan, and I was a student at Columbine High School. What was it that inspired you to speak out? Um, it really, it was the kids. It just seemed so eerily familiar. Just, it was truly history repeating itself. I'm like, wait, I've been here. And what the kids are saying is exactly what we were saying 19 years ago. And then um, to hear the kids, you know, a couple days later speak out and calling and saying, you know, this is BS and this is not how we're going to say no until action is actually made, um, made me want to speak out. Do you kind of think, wow, if only we had been like them? <laughs> I, all the time. Because we actually um, believe the grown-ups. And I think that was a thing. We were told this was an anomaly, that this would never happen again. And truly, we were failed. We were absolutely failed. There's another motivating factor, her three-year-old daughter, Dottie, and that mothering instinct to protect your children. We're all affected in some way. Yes, I'm talking about being a survivor, but we've all been touched because it just happens so frequently. We've all been touched now by a mass shooting or just gun violence. In Alexandria, Peggy Fox, WUSA 9. You're going to hear more from Sally. She'll be one of our panelists for WUSA 9's March for Our Lives town hall meeting tomorrow evening. Yeah, looking forward to meeting her. WUSA 9 is committed to helping amplify the students' voices during this very extraordinary moment in time. So we're very proud to be hosting that special March for Our Lives Town Hall at the Sydney Harmon Hall. It's tomorrow, March 23rd, from 6 until 7 in the evening. Now, if you're a student or if you know of students who should be part of this important conversation about gun safety in schools, we very much would like to extend an invitation to you to join us live in our audience at the theater. Parents and educators, you're invited too. I'll be there along with Reese Waters and Ellen Bryan to facilitate the discussion. The town hall is free, but seats are limited and you're gonna need a ticket. Please go to WUSA9.com for information on how you can get tickets and be heard.